Hi guys, I hope you're doing fantastic. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're gonna start doing our daily energy clearing. Um, my name is Lindsay. I do healings for twin flames and light workers. So be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. So um, we're gonna work on connecting you more to your angels and your guides and to the universe, of course. It's all connected. But I was guided to make this one to really help you to connect and receive more love and light and support from your angels. There are so many angels in the world. I mean, in the universe, right? Just angels, angels of love, angels of miracles, angels of <laughs> so many different types of angels, angels of abundance that so you can call in the angels, right? Whatever areas of your life you feel you could use more support, you can ask. If you don't know if there's an angel team for it, um, there is, I assure you there probably is, but you can all just say, I call upon all the angels that are meant to help me. So let's get started and let's call upon God, Source, Universe, angels and guides, the highest beings of infinite love and infinite light to help with this session and allow all of this love and light to go to you, your twin flame, your loved ones, the entire collective and beyond. This is something better for the highest and the greatest good of all. So, um, there's a lot of angel energy coming in. So angels, they have very high vibrational energies, whether it's angels or archangels, etc. Just feeling all that love. I'm just going to take a moment to uh, let all that light and love flow through. And if you're open to receiving, uh, type in the comments below, I'm open to receiving all the infinite love and infinite light of the angels. Okay. Whew. And I know, I'm wearing a sweater. Sweaters in Hawaii, right? I know. When I wear this out in public, people look at me kind of weird. They're like, why? <laughs> but <laughs> I get cold. It's in the low 70s in Hawaii, and people are not going to like me when I say that. In Hawaii, cold is like low 70s, high 60s. <laughs> oh, but I just like wearing sweaters. They're just so like yummy and cozy. They just make you feel really good. So, okay. Anyways, you can comment below what the, what the weather is like in your, <laughs> in your area. <laughs> Let me know if it's snowing. Okay, tuning in. Here's calling all the angels. So let's call in all the angels, your support team. So your angels that, you know, work with you directly. So we have like our spirit team, right? So our spirit team, we have our guardian angels. So just allowing more of that connection. Calling them in. Oh, I feel some parts of you, um, parts of you blocking. So parts of you that feel not worthy of working with your angels and guides, clear that. Any parts of you that are believing that you do not deserve to work with angels or you don't deserve love or whatever it is that's blocking you from connecting more with your angels. Whew, that shifted a lot. <laughs> so opening up, allowing more support. There's some fear, so just sending love and light to the parts of you that are afraid of really opening up and receiving. Um, so sometimes there's parts of us that got so used to doing it all on our own, right? So it could be carried from our ancestors if they felt like they had to do it all on their own, struggling, right? Struggling to get by, struggling just to make money, struggling to just put food on the table, and we can still be carrying that um, those beliefs within our ancestral line. So that's another reason why working on clearing, you know, for ancestors as well. So I do that a lot in the sessions, the weekly downloads. But yeah, so clear that for ancestors. And we can also carry stuff from uh, other lifetimes as well. So anytime from other lifetimes where you're holding on to um, whatever beliefs or fears or doubts that are causing you to be afraid to open up receiving love and light and support and knowing that you're worthy and deserving. It doesn't have to be uh, such a struggle. It doesn't have to be so hard. You don't have to fight every moment of your life just to get by. You know, we can allow more ease. We can allow more flow. We can definitely allow more love and support. <sighs> okay. Just surrendering all the things that are no longer serving you, no longer of the highest good. There are some stubborn parts. So we're going deep into the stubborn, stubborn parts that are saying, no way, I'm never going to allow love. So I'm going deep into those parts of you and parts of all of us. 
<sighs> That's a lot of crying, a lot of releasing. <sighs> bringing the light back, bringing the love back into these deep, dark places. We've, we've, we've just gone into a really dark place, so um, it's a pocket of um, darkness within the collective. A lot of us are actually connected to this. I'm just saying love and light to shift this for all of us, for all of you watching, for your twin flame, for the collective that's connected to this. It's going to take us all to the next level of receiving and allowing. Whew. That is opening. It's just, there. there is some pain. I feel a lot of pain in the heart. Uh, a lot of darkness, a lot of despair, a lot of hopelessness. So just moving through all this energy and bringing all the love and light to flow through. And let's call in all the angels to come in and support. Now that we're moving the space through, we can bring in the love and support more fully. Oh, it feels good. It's like all these angels coming in. And I just see this really nice vision of all the angels flowing through and they're just hugging hugging all these parts of us that have been stuck in this place. It's almost like um, uh, soul fragments and parts of us got stuck in this, um, this dark space and angels are hugging and helping all these parts of us remember how amazing, wonderful, beautiful, loved we are. And we can send these parts of us back up into infinite love and light, cleanse and clear these parts of us, reprogram these parts of us into unconditional love, and helping these parts of us remember and then we can connect again to these parts of us so it's almost like um sometimes we can have parts of us that actually get like amnesia or like go into a coma state due to like trauma or things like that from other lifetimes that's to say and um, we can stay stuck like a part of our um a part of us can stay trapped in that um reality or that false reality that illusion and um, so helping these parts of us to to um, realize that, you know, this is not a true, this is not true, you can get out of this. And then we can bring these parts of us back to our heart space. Um, then you feel so much better, right? You can feel the more of the connection, more of that love. You start to feel more and more whole. You start to feel, just feel really good overall. <laughs> it helps a lot. Okay. So... Wow, I went so deep. Let's go back up into the light. So bring we brought all those parts of us back into infinite love and light. Let them integrate. When it's ready, we connect more to those parts of us. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time for those parts of us to really fully heal from the trauma. I'm just saying infinite love and light. And now let's connect us even more to our spirit team. So all the angels that are on our team and then all the angels that want to come support us, all the archangels. So Archangel Michael is here. All the archangels, I see them all. It's really beautiful. Even ones that I don't even know their names because there's so many archangels, right, that we don't even know about from other universes, other <laughs> galaxies, there's a lot. So just connecting you to all the archangels that you're meant to connect with, meant to work with, opening up your connection to receive and allow. And so if there's any, uh, any area, areas of your life that you feel you would like support in, you can ask the angels now. So just ask them, I would like more support with loving myself, or I would like more support with um, my finances. I would like more support with Twin Flame Union, whatever it is. You can share below if you want, or you can just, just state it in your mind, in your heart. Okay. And I'm seeing all the angels coming in. So clearing the path and space for you to connect with them. And clearing the path and space so that they can work with you on whatever it is that you're asking for support. Feels nice. <laughs> I'm like really warm now. <sighs> okay. So 
So that feels really good. And you can do this anytime, right? So anytime you are struggling with something in your life, just ask, right? Ask for love, ask for support. You know, ask God, ask the universe, ask your angels. Um, like I said, there's, there's an angel team for pretty much everything. So <laughs> if you don't know, just ask, just ask for the highest good and whatever angels are of the highest good to help support you and whatever it is that you are wanting support in, right? So love, money, you know, feeling worthy, feeling maybe more confident, um, uh, whatever it is, I'm like just throwing out random, random ideas. Maybe you want to start a business in the new year, so helping you with that. And, you know, so we allow support from the angels. And then that helps. So how does that translate in the physical? You'll just notice things start to shift in your life with a lot more ease, maybe less struggle, less need to force things or fight for things, allow things to come to you. And then at the same time, allow yourself to be inspired and guided to take the na ne um, the uh, uh, necessary action steps, right, in the physical, right? So maybe it is, if you are trying to start a business, maybe start to uh, make your website or, you know, whatever, start marketing yourself, right? You still have to take the steps but you can ask your angels to support you every step of the way and make it a lot more easeful and a lot more fun. So I do this in my own life, right? Everything that I do, calling on support, but me, I still have to do the things that that I need to do, right? Like making these YouTube videos and the weekly healing downloads, still, you know, doing what I need to do, but then also... Um, allowing the angels to support me and allowing the universe and God to work through me, work with me to create whatever we're meant to create that's in the highest good and be of service as much as I can to, you know, creating this, uh, the love and the light on the planet and beyond. So, yeah, I'm so glad that you watched this video and um, hope it helps you to connect more to your spirit team, your angels. And um, also, I have a Reiki, I made a bunch of Reiki videos just to connect with like the different um, archangels. Um, so you can check that one out. It's, if you look on my channel on the main page, I have some playlists. And I made one that has just the playlist of all the um, Archangel Reiki videos. So if you want, you can, you can play with that and um, allow that to help you connect with the angels as well. And I do recommend... Um, to at least take some time every day to connect with the angels and connect with the um, the high you know the high beings that work with you whether it's the angels or you know whether you work with Arcturians or whatever it is just make sure they're from the highest good highest good highest um, infinite love and light and just making sure to take some time every day or just connect directly to God to the universe whatever works with you, or Buddha, or <laughs> Jesus, whoever, whatever, <laughs> whatever makes you feel good, and, um, because that is really important, when you take that time to connect, um, connect to that love, it helps you to, um, just go through your life in a lot more easeful way, and you really set that intention, and every time you take that time to connect, it strengthens that connection, right? It's like a relationship, just like in real life, right? The more that you take time to put in effort and intention into your relationships, they get stronger, right? You get stronger trust, stronger connection, stronger love. It's the same when you connect with the spiritual um, spiritual realm. The more you connect with God, the more you connect with your angels, you're making the connection stronger. You're building a bond and that also helps you to open up even more because then you're going to start to feel, okay, I can trust more. Your heart will open up more and then you can receive even more love and light from your um, guides and angels. So, yeah, sending you so much love and so much light. Um, check out this week's healing download. It's called Twin Flame Firepower. If you want to get a session with me, you can. A personalized session. All the information is below. I'm wishing you lots of love and light, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.